and we're back here tonight with uh, Mortal Kombat XL today instead of uh, Soul Calibur because we just got Mortal Kombat on sale and I can actually play it. It's like seven fifty, not that bad actually. So yeah. And two player. So we're going to play this game today. Here you are, my dear. You can have your controller. Thank you. I don't know if I can be heard or not because I do not have my stuff I'm up. I'm about to do that right now. Uh, push, push the X button. Okay, I have pushed the X button. Now I am here. Hello. Okay, you are on Scorpion. Who do you want? Uh, well, I'm gonna go for Sonya because that's who I've practiced with. Okay, go down, left, 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 up one. In other words, go left three. So you're good. Sonya Blade. Uh, you can be hurt, by the way. I can be what? You can be heard. Am I being heard clearly? Yes. And how are you being heard? I'm be I can hear myself perfectly fine. Does it sound worse or better? Because you have that nice new headset that Santa brought you. You know, Santos El Halper brought you oh, that. My... You sound a lot closer than I do. But if that my means headset turned on... might be turned off. What about now? Let's wait till I start. I'm... The stream's behind, so... I noticed. We also have nobody watching, so we're okay. That's much better. Yeah, it was off. Okay. Okay. Let me share this out. Well, let's... I'm actually kind of curious if we uh, sound a lot better than usual now. Because, you know, where you have that noise-canceling headset on, I have a semi-noise-canceling <laughs> headset on. I guess I can turn this down a tad. <clears throat> All right, it's uh, been shared out to Twitter. Be I, if I be Goro, that might just be mean. <laughs> See, this is the problem. I, most of these characters I know really well. <laughs> well, not really well because it's a whole new system. But it's like Leatherface I've been playing with, and I, I feel bad if I gut you. But uh, an alien will spit acid on you, Leatherface. Well, then we got Jason. Mm. Big machete. Like a predator. Those are the specialty characters today. Uh, I haven't got Jason yet. Let's go Jason relentless. Voorhees. So you're going to want to go... So you have three things to choose from. You okay. can go to Covert Ops, which is you get the Garot Parry and Military Stance. Uh, or if you go to the right one, you get fun explosives and guns and stuff. And if you go to the left, you get something else. Go left one. Oh, you get the drone for special attacks. Oh. That sounds boring. Let's, um... I, I just decided to go, like, ultra-violent with Jason. Of course you did. Hmm. Oh, we haven't unlocked Jack with these things yet, because, like, I can't get extra costumes no, and shit. No, we oh, Well, I forgot, I'm trying to do the story mode on my account. Okay. So... Are you going to pick something, or this what? This is the weirdest what, Terry? This is the weirdest looking Soul Calibur game ever. <laughs> well, you're about to be astonished. It's still weird. There, the, the, uh, there still isn't any chat showing up on the screen like before. How odd. So weird. Well, I hit X. So now what? Uh, random. Hit X. Random place to random fight. Random maps. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, it was a battle of the maps. Okay. That's just kind of weird. All right, so Everything's this a is battle. the newest Mortal Kombat, guys. Like, I have not really seen anybody really reviewing this or playing it, so let us play. I mean, the most recent was, what, Jim and Ralph playing... This? No, they were playing X. They were playing the last not one. Not XL? No, they were just playing X. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. They, like, Jason... I haven't used Jason yet. There we go. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Thank you. Thank you. I feel bad. Like if I take there, I'm just gonna do that to you. I'm gonna throw you. Come here. See, so you figured that shit out. You're figuring this game out pretty well, aren't you? Alright, that's it. 
Jason wins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you get mad? No, I just grabbed you and threw you. Makes life, makes life easier. So I can't beat you in real life. Come on. There we go. Let's see what this is. The machete through the base of the skull. Break. Pulls your spine apart. Pulls the machete out. Puts it through your middle. And that's it. Oh, shit. And yeah, I can do that, too. Yeah, you garroted me, broke my spine, headbutt me, so it crushes my spine, and then break my neck on the ground. Good job. Uh, great special if you stayed here. Come here. Beat you up. <laughs> hey! Oh, wow, you're really figuring this out. And the... Jesus Christ. Okay, looks like I can't... Take it easy on you. Just gonna have to. Ah, I didn't hit it in time. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> At least you didn't get a fatality. <laughs> Wish I hadn't told you how to do fatalities. Wins. See, I like the brutality. Like when I used the leather face. I haven't face. figured those out yet. You just have to bludgeon them to death. Like I, I beat the shit out of someone with a mallet, and that's how I got it. Because uh, with Leatherface, you can use the meat mallet. And tenderize their foreheads. Rematch or new fighter? Uh, I'm, I'm, I haven't done anything other than Sonya, so I'm still getting used to Sonya. You can pick a new fighter. Okay, well, you need to go down one anyway to pick a new fighter. Okay, so they are the same game. This is Johnny Blaze. So the X is the game. X is the regular game. XL is the game of the year edition. Give the yeah, game of the year edition better. Good, nice, fun game. I like him. I don't know. I was watching what was it? Something. Six One Six Gaming did uh, the history of all the Mortal Kombat games. So who do you want to use? Pick a name. I was gonna. I just told you I pick, I'm sticking with Sonya so I can get used to her. Okay, left three. There you go. Sonya Blade. <laughs> no, I'm not going to use Cassie Cage. She's blind, you lose either way, Pinkalo. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's not fair, but you know what? I'm just going to chop you into little pieces now. Hey. Yeah, yeah. And you... You have an advantage because I can't hear the thing properly. What can't you hear properly? I have two earbuds in. I know. If we, I wonder if we can both share the audio on this thing. I'm not trying shit because I'm not breaking any. I'm doing basic streaming. That's it. I'm not breaking shit. Okay. Why are you bothering me? Round one. Fight. Oh look, you. Have a hammer. Oh, chainsaw. Oh. Get it. Get it. This is what I get for spending most of my time playing Spider Man. Yep. <laughs> Just going. No pain, no gain. <laughs> to fight. Here. You stuck my chainsaw in your stern. I'm hit you in the four. Hit you in the back of the head. Stomped you into the top of the chainsaw. This is so much fun. I'm hoping I can age restrict this. Stop. Ah, so much clicking. Again? Nope. Bad. <laughs> Grabbed you and bonked you. It's funny when you do this against Bull Ride Show. You know, slapsticky that way, not domestic abuse. <laughs> way. 
Uh oh. You forgot how to do it, didn't you? No. That's oh, shit. Retirement in my ass. Sonia, we You're supposed to be dead. God, that pissed me off about the storyline. That was one thing that bothered me about the whole thing is they basically reset the storyline for all this. What's with the expressionless emoticon there, Chadwick? Because of all the blood and gore, it's a good Christian channel. He's a good Christian boy. That's all. He's just a good little Christian boy. Uh, you might want to go down to select a new player, or do you want to rematch? What do you want to do? Let's keep going. Okay. I just, I'm going to pick Sonya again. Do you again. want to do story mode after this? Because it's actually pretty boring. But story mode's pretty boring? Well, I shouldn't say it's boring. It's pretty action-packed. But, uh... Or do you want to do towers? Like, how do you want to do this? I might try arcade or a tower. Because there is a ton of stuff to do in this game. And, and again, no, they did not make it so you can take two players and go online and set up a room. So two players on the same console can play online. Because it's stupid. This is something that they stopped doing in, like, all fighting games. It is so dumb. It would be so much better, especially for, like, you know, little brothers that want to play with their older brothers. Reading. Story mode is pretty stupid, says Terry. <laughs> is it, hey Terry? Is it just me, or did you notice that Johnny Cage is? If they're gonna make a movie, they're gonna make Johnny Cage star be Chris Pratt. Well, yeah. I, I, I just, just from the whole way that they are made him carry himself, it's they've even got him drawn like it's Chris Pratt. Oh, I should do that. That would be a good idea. I haven't used any of these characters except for like now. I'm using all of them. Go. You need to hit X, goddammit. Another time? Yes, because we have to have a battle of where are we going to battle. We're going to the... Because everything's a battle. Gender. Everything has to be a battle because it is faction warfare. Okay, so... It was, uh, it was quite an interesting day in the news. Oh, there's what we need to talk about. Why do you keep pissing off vegans? Like, why did you seriously pick a fight with a group of vegans? I didn't! They picked a fight with me! Well, they have a brain deficiency, and you're the one that wants to try and start shit with them. Did you... Like, ah. I am made of lightning! I am Raiden, god of thunder! No, that's Thor. No, Raiden is the thunder god. Ah! You cannot do that to me! I am Raiden! Come on, come on! Come on! Good. Oh, there we go. Slap you like a little... Get in the kitchen. No. Ah. Ah. I guess that haven't used Raiden. No, I don't have to do that. Remember back in the old days when you had to try and figure everything out, or you looked in the instruction manual to find out what the moves were? What do you think I have to do? We figure everything out, duh. Without being called a button masher? Yes! Yeah, by the way, how many times has that happened to you lately? What do you think? How many times? Oh, by the way, when you go into online mode, the little shits, you can, you can hear them. It's, it's public, it's open talk. Oh, good. Oh, it's so fucking dumb. Ah! Oh, what did okay. I just do? You, you did that same shoulder wrap throw where you basically. Thank you! <laughs> oh, cool, I just sent you way up in the air and now I grabbed you by the spine and I'm electrocuting you in the sky. That's actually kind of a pretty decent move. And. I need to figure out why I can't see chat. That's kind of driving me nuts. That's I, I liked it better when it was on the screen. What the hell did I break when I set this up? Uh, you can do your special if you want. Try. Shit, why did I say something? Because you're nice. Uh, yeah, that's true. You're not understanding. No, I'm not. Because... You should be wearing the same outfit as Cassie, damn it. Why, mother-daughter twins? No, they're not mother and daughter. That's the weird thing. There, there's the other part. 
that that's the other weird part about it is uh, no, they are not. They did not hook up and get kids. Um. Then why is Cassie calling her mom? That in this she game, did. they did. Uh. Yeah. Okay. That again. Cannon's all fucked. They are mother and daughter, honey. In this. Okay. In this. Weird. Okay, so I gotta pay more attention to the story mode. Damn it! You gotta push R2. You have to ho push and hold R2 and then push either square or triangle. So. That's R2, yes. And you have to push and hold it. Okay. So you just have to, like this, you go, that. Yes, I know and how to. And then you push I, that. I, 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 I am. Just, I am. I just wanna make sure that you understand what I'm saying. Because you can't see it. Can't see the forest. That's tree, what all man. biting games are, button mashing. Not necessarily. No, but then you get little bitches that cry about, oh, you're just a button masher, you faggot. You know, you get that kind of gay shit. My wife kicks my ass by button mashing. That's what my wife does. Oops. Who said that? Wait, what does Terry say from memory? Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade boned each other in the story. And Cassie is their daughter. Okay, good. Then we're right. So then, yeah. So sure. However, Cassie. <laughs> okay. Anyway, can we can we continue here, please? Yes. Are we doing it? An arcade? A tower? Uh, you need to push start and get us up here. Start. Or X. Or square go. You, but you, I don't know what happened. You broke something. You were the one who pushed a button on my controller. <laughs> oh, it was show details. Okay, so we go main. Will menu. I be inviting people? Not tonight. I'm still um <laughs> I'm still learning. Okay, I have control over this with my controller. I'm curious. What did you do? No, I'm actually kind of curious about whether or not uh join a creative team if you Why is there a new person in the channel? What do you mean in the channel? There's a new person on the channel, and I can't read their chat. Their name has... is... Their name... Their name is being spoken in a different language, in voiceover. Uh... Okay, Sounds something's Asian. foreign. Oh, Thailand! Hi, Thai guy! Uh, I, I can't speak Thai, so I'll speak Chinese. Zing hao bindu wa! Okay, please don't do that. <laughs> What'd I do? Looking for an opponent. Okay, this is weird. Wait, aren't we doing arcade? No, this, hold on. This is the weird thing. Why do I have control? We're on your account. We're not on my account, because I don't stream to the blind in the special. I stream to my channel. Which, by the way, if you guys want, sub to me, but I... I got like five away from a hundred. Um. Ooh, the dispensary was going out of business, so everything was next to nothing. What? Damn, Chadwick, you're lucky. Yeah, well, we're not allowed to have dispensaries here. We're fired from those, you know, until uh, um, um, uh, April Fool's Day. Uh, oh, wait, how, again? No. What the hell is? Oh, hit X. Yes, welcome to the new person. Dana, or Danai. Cool. Is that what that says, or does that say shawarma? Let's see here. Uh, okay, so now... Oh! That's interesting. Qua. Uh, okay, so you went into online, right? I don't have power to do anything. Hit circle. Now, if I go to online, it's because uh, it said blind press in the top left. If I go to online, come on, read stats. Come on, link up so I can. It says driving ape. So that is interesting. So we have a way where we can alternate between single fights if we wanted to. Okay. Mortal Kombat so far to the three games gets the plus. <laughs> Beats the shit out of Soul Calibur hey. and uh, no, it does. Just for this fact, it gets a point above Soul Calibur because Soul Calibur, you and I can't really play, do anything, right? 
that at least now we can go back and forth. Mm. So what did you want to do? You wanted to do arcade mode. Yeah, right? I want to try. So our... go up. Well, here, I'll direct you, and then you just push X when I tell you. So push X. Kind of cool. Now you got story mode, tower, single fight, test your luck, or training. What's single fight? Is that arcade? Single fight is our kind of arcade mode. Yeah. Okay. Well, the way you unlock stuff is probably story mode or towers. Towers is actually kind of fun. That's where, just like in the original games, you you go up the tower. But you never played the original Mortal Kombat. I game? played three. Okay, I so think, go down but one, hit X. No one let me do any uh, of the. Yeah, do traditional tower. Hit X. You go to traditional tower. No this, one. This no one ever. It's Mortal Kombat. Actually, dude, it was seven fifty when we bought it. It is so no get. It. This is worth buying, dude. This was actually pretty good. I haven't played more. I haven't bought a Mortal Kombat game since like two, but this is awesome. This is actually pretty good. I was not. I was angry with four. Um. I was angry as hell with, like everyone else was with, um, um, Annihilation, was it? Or whatever, whatever that really stupid one was. The one with the chests pissed me off. Oh, you beat The Witcher. Nice. Krill, nice. The Witcher is, uh, All right. a bitch to be. So, you can do classic, test your luck, test your might, endless, or survivor. Let's just do classic. Okay, so you're on classic. Uh, who do you want to use? Sonya Blade. Yeah. So, again, you, every time you start this, you're on Scorpion. Three to the left, then. Three to the left. Sonya Random Blade. is just one over to the right. So, do you want to do that Covert Ops ones that yeah. you like with the Garot? Okay, yeah. so then it's just straight X. Okay, <laughs> so. Uh, so, now hit X, because you have to choose your difficulty. Opponent number one. Alien! And, and the alien, yeah, it is the symbiote. Nice. Which is which is really fucking, or not the symbiote, the xenomorph symbiote. Yes, it's it, you're fighting venom named alien. No, it's it's a xenomorph, not the symbiote. Wow, I should be shot for my alien lore people. Yes, Adam, we just got um, Mortal deep, Kombat deep on deep. what Thursday? Uh, yeah, I just bought it on Boxing Day. This Tekken Seven. Uh, I bought Paw Patrol for Alex. He already beat it. Um, Did he really? He's at 16 and he's almost got everything else collected. And there's no DLC. No, there? there's nothing. $55 for... I told you, $55 for a fucking side-scroller pissed me right off. Um, but, uh... Thanks, Captain. Yes, we are from Canada. Eh? The alien, she's abating you. But uh, yeah, so that Tekken Seven. Oh, and I bought all, all the DLC for Spider-Man because it was like thirty bucks. So. <laughs> XL is so worth it. I don't know about eleven. I, if this, if they stick to this kind of a thing with eleven, I'll be happy. Um, but as far as I can tell right now, this is pretty good. Uh, I saw. I thought about Injustice, but I'm like, no, I don't want to do Injustice because I'm not in a 2D mood. This was. I wanted to go here because I wanted to see how she would do with a two and a half D. Uh, we both agree Tekken's been slowed down. Tekken is driving me crazy. Because <laughs> of how slow it is. Yes. Yeah, because it's not turbo mode. <laughs> Um, so far I'm on the first storyline with the black cat thing, and it's pretty good, bro. Um, I don't, you gotta realize, I, I 100% of the entire, 100% level 50 of the entire non-DLC, so now it's just cake work. Everything, it's just so much fun, but, uh, uh the guys are a lot harder to fight. God um, damn. But if Aliens a lot three, harder to fight. <laughs> oh yeah, Aliens a pain in the ass, uh... If you buy all three together, it unlocks something. It, did, it actually meshes them together instead of buying them separately. Uh, so buy the that whole the whole last pack. It has all three in it. And it's just it's just a better idea. Uh, no, I didn't. I did not know Rowdy Roddy Piper. However, I did meet Wayne Gretzky's father. That was an interesting time in my life. My father lived down the street from him. Boom! 
But I also did meet Kevin Nash back in the day when he was Diesel. Uh, connected to the TV. Well, yeah, TV. See, I... If I were to get another game, I would probably do Wait. Dead or Alive because I don't think they said... I think they said they're not doing any more. Oh, that was a new finisher. A faction kill? Faction yeah. Kill. <sighs> that was hard. I was just level one. I know. You've got nine more to go. Do I have to hit X or anything, or just wait? You have to hit X. Next up, you are fighting Scorpion. Oh, of course. Now, and the one thing I've noticed is if you change this, the, the difficulty, because I put the difficulty to super hard just to see how hard super hard was, they are cheap as shit. Well, yeah. Well, when you put 2B on stupid difficult for me to train against, all she did was critical edge over and over again. Okay. Kevin Nash versus Diesel? No. Fake Kevin Nash will never replace and will always be defeated by real Kevin Nash. Tracer Ramon versus Scott Hall. Yeah, that, that's called the mirror matches. Ugh. Okay. Oh, so, um, I'm gonna drop chat now, and I'm gonna drop out, and I'm gonna find some news, because I saw a couple stories that are gonna make us kill ourselves. Did you see the finger poke of doom with Kevin Nash? I live the finger poke of doom. I, uh, constantly watch, uh, Behind the Titantron from WrestleMania and, uh, Cultaholic, and unfortunately, what culture? But, uh, they're not as accurate, but WrestleMania's worth it. If you guys get a chance, check out WrestleMania. Uh, I'll write their name. Uh, because you guys can do the work and find them. Fuck off, Scorpion. Uh, if you can find that, WrestleMania, they actually have a really, really good series called Behind the Titan Tron, in which he breaks down all the weird, controversial shit. Break down, like, the Benoit story. So much shit from the Benoit story. Uh, for you guys that don't know, Chris Benoit in 2007, uh... Have a little bit of a moment and uh, killed him and his family. A bit of a moment. Yeah, killed his family then himself. And uh, the WWE tried to erase him from history, and they failed miserably. Now they have to embrace the story. Uh, are you fighting on tattooing? Uh, oh, no, oh, it's the nether realm. Okay. Uh, He did go completely psycho. PTFO, oh, Jesus. Uh, then I, when I was a kid, I used to hang out at the Hart Brothers School of Wrestling. That was kind of a neat place to kind of chill out. Oh, fuck sakes, Terry. Uh, Terry, killing your family before you kill yourself is just considerate. Saves them mourning you. Ah, <laughs> oh, Terry. Still too soon. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you want someone who went completely psycho. Hartman's wife went completely psycho. Like, that's the same kind of thing. But she did the worst thing. She left the kids. Like, that, that was worse. Did it with the kids were home. Anyway, let's get off of this sad, sad topic. Because uh, I do not want to talk about that shit. But let's go find some fun into the news. And if you would like to, you can send it to Blind Press Reads or you can send it to hashtag and ape reads. That's also where I'm going with stuff, but nobody's been sending anything, so I've kind of been ignoring it. Uh, higher drunk driving and fries. Frimes? Frimes. I'm a little dunk. Speaking of, I forgot to get myself a glass of my ice wine. You want your ice wine? You want the bottle, or do you want your Bacardi? But that requires me to get up, and I don't want to get up. Uh, let's see here. Scrolling through the Twitter feed of cancer. da 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 I want to kill myself. Why? Because there is so much cancer. <laughs> RCMP investigating after train strikes car in Langley. Nope. How about they try? probably try to cross the rails? Oh, and if anybody hasn't heard, uh, Adonis Paul, formerly AP the Frog, uh, keep him in your thoughts. He had a heart attack yesterday morning. Yes, he did. And he's been in ICU and uh, in the hospital all night. He's being released tomorrow, thankfully. But, yeah, that's... Uh, Regardless of what you think, whatever it was, it doesn't matter. It's the fact that he was, uh, 
That doesn't need to happen. We lost total biscuit and Steve Blackman this year. We don't know with that. We don't need any more going. We got one more day left. Okay, now let's uh, let's let's check out some actual cancer and uh, see where this takes us. Uh, ah, what did I touch? She was. Oh, cool. What? What'd you touch? See if I can do that again. See if you can do what again? I don't know what you did. Uh, all I know is, is he's throwing his big wooden, what is it, the sword thingy. Alright, news time, before I can uh, forget what I'm doing and go a little insane. Uh, no shit, what? No fucking way. The vocalist from Gov, the vocalist from Walk Off the Earth died. Wow. Wow. He died peacefully from natural causes in his sleep. Walk off the... Yeah. They were new. But they yeah, were they good. were. Oh, no. They were the ones that did uh, walk off the earth, the ones that red hands. What do I do if I lose? Uh, you wait. And now you hit X. You can either retry, skip the fight. Fuck no. Yeah, you, they actually have a bypass option where you can skip the fight. Where's the retry? Uh, you're on retry. You start on retry, dear. Let's skip the fight. Uh, come on, can we not have something funny? Gunman fires on car full of girls in Houston, killing child. Nope, not funny. Let's see here. Headlines are fun to read. I can do this all night. That's what the ghost poo does. Yeah, and I feel, and I completely forget when I do stuff, and I don't realize I'm stealing people's sticks. But you know what? I give up because you've stolen Keemstar. I did no, 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 no. I'm mocking Keemstar. There's a difference because I can do. Let's get right into the news. I don't have the nose. I don't have the nasal cavity that he does to do that right. Just like, uh, let's just jump into it. I can't do that. <laughs> I am not Philip the Fargo. But yeah. I just think that's one of the funniest things to hear. And it's funny to hear when you're listening to other people's videos nowadays, you're starting to pick up on people that have that too. And I blame the internet historian for trying to make it so we had that because he had that competition. Cause he had to try and talk like Philip DeFranco at the end of his video. <laughs> Kinda fucked up. Uh okay, so God, can't we have something? Okay, another shooting, another Toronto shooting, another Toronto shooting, another Toronto shooting, armed robbery. Chief of Staff Kelly, Trump backed away from Wall months ago. Did he now? Let's find out. This is fucking hard. It is, isn't it? <clears throat> Nope, I don't hear children. Okay, good. President Donald Trump long ago backed away from his campaign pledge to construct a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border, his outgoing chief of staff said, as the president's demand for border security, in quotes, funding triggered a partial government shutdown with no end in sight. Any bets they'll be back to work next week when the holidays end? Just curious. God damn. John Kelly, who will leave his post Wednesday after a tumultuous 17 months in the job, said in an exit interview with the LA Times that Trump abandoned the notion of a solid concrete wall earlier in the administration. It marked the starkest administration yet by the president's inner circle that his signature campaign pledge, which sparked fervent chants of BUILD THAT WALL during Trump's rallies and is now at the center of budgetary standoff would not be fulfilled as advertised. No, because they weren't talking about a concrete wall. They were talking about those partitions. No pain, no Weird. Pain. Fucking time machine's broken, people. To be honest, it's not a wall, Kelly said, adding the mix of technological enhancements and steel slat barriers. The president now wants along the border resulted from conversations with law enforcement professionals. The partial shutdown began December 22nd after Trump vowed to conservative demands that he fight to make good on his vow and secure funding for the wall before Republicans lose control of the House on Wednesday. Democrats have remained committed to blocking the president's priority 
and with neither side engaged in substantive subs substantive yeah that's the word jesus it's a word it's not cat in the hat for christ's sake substantive negotiation that word just doesn't make sense to me it doesn't sound right finally oh. you beat him yay uh, no, seriously, Mortal Kombat is a game that's better played, like, with a headset. <laughs> really? You yeah. actually have found playing it with one <laughs> ear. No, I, last year it was better, it, last night I was like, this is gonna be easier with a headset headset. Because the actual audio moves. What? The, the audio moves, like, with In the your play one ear? Yes, I can tell the players are moving around, like so I can't... Fucking terrifying. I can't... He if I had two e earbuds in with the... Yeah. It would disorient you? No, it would fucking make things a hell of a lot better for me and worse for everybody else. <laughs> okay, what the hell happened? Um, you hit triangle. <sighs> so hit triangle. That's not triangle. That's square. That's triangle. Bravo! Fuck off. <laughs> condescending prick. I am not condescending. Yes, yeah, stereo headphones. I am con ascending. Ha ha ha. I fear it's starting to miss Discord. Oh dear. Sister against me. Oh, Melina. Katana's not your sister. I will give her your head. Round one. So you're insane. Okay, got it. Uh, yeah, if you were to see what Melina looks like. Have you ever seen what Baraka looks like? No. Um, take your mouth, extend the sides of your mouth to your ears, and have that nothing but very large teeth. That's pretty much what she has and what Baraka has. Baraka. Baraka wins. They're blade demon people. Oh, holy cow. Oh, sleep deprivation is killing me here. Whew. Time to go pick some boulders. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Jeb Bush just talked about my border proposal to build a fence. He tweeted, it's not a fence, Jeb. It's a wall. And there's a big difference. But on Sunday, White House Counselor Kellyanne Conway called discussion of the apparent contradiction a silly semantic argument. There may be a wall in some places. There may be steel slats. There may be technological enhancements, Conway told. Oh, wait. This is Kellyanne Conway? I can't do a Kellyanne Conway. Fox News Sunday. Nope. But only saying, wall or no wall, is being very disingenuous and turning a complete blind eye to what is a crisis holy shit. at the border. But what are you holy shitting? Just kick her once. There you go. A little punch, but okay. You never listen to me anyway. Well, I don't know what button is kick. Final circle. That's what I pushed. Always circle and square. Always hyper click it. Okay. Come on, you can do it. You do not have a charge. Okay. Uh, talks have been at a stalemate for more than a week after Democrats said the White House offered to accept 2.5 billion for border security. Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer told Vice President Mike Pence that it wasn't acceptable, nor was it guaranteed that Trump, under intense pressure from his conservative base to fulfill his signature campaign promise, would settle for that amount. Conway claims Sunday that the president has already compromised by dropping his request for the wall from $25 billion. Jesus. And she called on Democrats to return to the negotiating table. Tasty. It is with them, she said, explaining why Trump was not reaching out to Democrats. Democrats maintain that they have already presented the White House with three options to end the shutdown, none of which fund the wall, and insist that it's Trump's move. At this point, it's clear the White House doesn't know what they want when it comes to border security, uh, said Justin wish. Goodman. Are oh, you fighting her again? I wish. Yes. Okay. Schumer's spokesman. Exactly. Well, one White House official says they're willing to compromise. Another says the president is holding firm at no less than five billion for the wall. Meanwhile, the president's tweets blaming everyone but himself for a shutdown be called for more than 25 times. After canceling a vacation to his private Florida club. Poor bastard. <laughs> 
Trump spent the weekend at the White House. Okay, and everyone mocked him for it. Ha ha ha. He doesn't get to spend Christmas with his family. Ha ha ha. You people are fucking idiots. He has remained out of the public eye since returning early Thursday from a 29-hour trip to visit U.S. troops in Iraq. Instead, taking a Twitter to attack Democrats. He also moved to defend himself from criticism that he couldn't deliver on the wall, while the GOP controlled both the House and the Senate. Round two. Uh, let's see. For those that naively asked, they didn't... Why didn't the Republicans get approval to build the wall? Who's the voice now? I'm trying to do a Trump, but I'm like really well, tired. Stop. I cannot do voices tonight, and I am sorry to everybody. I am shameful at this drink. This is what I get for being up till four. And they will give us none for border security, he tweeted. Now we have to do it the hard way with a shutdown. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, that's gone. Uh, Trump had lunch Sunday with Republican South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham, who said he hoped the end was shut down by offering Democrats incentives to get them uh, to vote for the wall funding. Damn After it. meeting with the president, Graham said Trump was open-minded about a broader immigration agreement, saying the, Im the impasse presented an opportunity to address issues beyond the border wall. But a previous attempt to reach a compromise that addressed the status of dreamers broke down last year as a result of escalating White House demands. As he called for Democrats to negotiate, Trump brushed off criticism that his administration bore any responsibility for the recent deaths of two migrant children in Border Patrol custody. Yes, it is not his fault that two children were dragged across the fucking desert by their parents, not given proper water, not given proper food, and then unfortunately were unable, and then unfortunately the parents denied medical care after one failed attempt. Ugh, my brain. Let's see here, where was I? But a previous attempt to reach a compromise that... Wait, what was it? Uh, White House... Uh, oh, fresh shot criticism. Uh, there it is. Trump claimed the deaths were strictly the fault of the Democrats and their pathetic immigration policies that allow people to make a long trek thinking they can enter our country illegally. No, well, it's not really it's the, not Democrats the Democrats' fault. fault. It's more the... Just... <sighs> and I am so sick of this. It's not the government, anybody in the government's fault that people want to leave and go to a country illegally. If they would go, if they would have stopped at one of the 50 fucking embassies on their 4,000 mile journey, other things could have been done. But no, they even turned down, a, like, they're, you're supposed to request asylum in the adjacent country, not 4,000 miles away. That's not how it works. And <laughs> when I see people that are fatter than me, no, they could have used, I guess the walk came in handy for them. <coughs> I have a problem with illegal immigration because I took the time with my mother to go to the States and get our, do our shit legally. So, yeah. I worked down there, I paid taxes down there, I did my time down there. And I did it all legally. Trump earlier oh, had up the Brinkman ship by what? That's new. What? Oh, you're fighting Tremor. Ugh. Let's see here. Democrats are vowing to pass legislation restoring the government. Legislation restoring the government as soon as they take control of the House on Thursday. But that won't accomplish anything unless Trump and the Republican-controlled Senate go along with it. The shutdown is forcing hundreds of thousands of federal workers and contractors to stay home or work without pay. Um, why do I have a feeling that that last line kind of... Uh, yeah. Come here so I can find you. So that's that story. I See... My ass. Sonia. Wins. But Stere the one thing that would help with stereo headphones like yours is finding them for the fatality because they groan. Yeah. Just listen for the day. Devora. I don't know this one. She throws bugs at you, so I think be careful. Oh, she is a bug. We attempt diplomacy, General. 
until oh, my hands down. General Kenobi! Do we make you uncomfortable? First of all, let me make you a General Kenobi son. We see green blood. Okay. What? Bangladeshi election violence. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess. Civilized, huh? 16 dead in Bangladeshi election violence. More than a dozen people were killed in election-related violence in Bangladesh on Sunday as voters went to the polls to decide whether to give Prime Minister Sheikh Hassani, or Hasina, there we go, a third consecutive term amid opposition claims that her leadership has become increasingly authoritarian. Just a little. The leader of Bangladesh's opposition alliance called Sunday's vote farcical saying any outcome would be rejected and demanding that a new election be held under the authority of a non-partisan government. The election campaign was marred by allegations of arrests and jailing of thousands of Hasina's opponents. Opposition leader Kamal Hossein said a few hours after voting, after voting ended, about a hundred candidates from the alliance had withdrawn from their races during the day. He said the alliance would hold a meeting Monday to decide its next course. This just kind of smells funny. We call upon the election commission to declare this election void and demand a fresh election under a nonpartisan government. Uh, isn't that like the equivalent of a coup? Uh, calls to s calls to several Hasina aides seeking comment were not immediately returned. Bangladesh's leading English language newspaper, the Daily Star, said 16 people were killed in 13 districts in election-related violence. In the run-up to the election, activists from both the ruling party and the opposition complained of attacks on supporters and candidates. On Sunday, the Associated Press received more than 50 calls from people across the country who identified themselves as opposition supporters complaining of intimidation and threats, and being forced to vote in front of ruling party men inside polling booths. Some stray incidences have happened. We have asked our officials to deal with them. Uh, K.M. Norel Huda, Bangladesh's chief election commissioner, said as he cast his vote in the capital, Dhaka. Not to be confused with Dakao. The election campaign was marred by the arrests and jailing of what the opposition said were thousands of Hasina opponents, including six candidates for parliament. So then what were the other people opponents of? Hasina's use of the state machinery to subjugate the opposition virtually ensures her electoral victory, said Sasha Risor Kosicki, a South Asia analyst for the New York-based Eurasia Group. Hasina has expressed confidence in the outcome, inviting election observers and foreign journalists to her official residence on Monday. When the results were expected to be known, well-rights groups have sounded the alarms about the erosion of Bangladesh's democracy. Hasina had pr has promoted a different narrative, highlighting an ambitious economic agenda that has propelled Bangladesh past longer neighbors, past larger neighbors Pakistan and India, by some development measures. Is this person's last name Trudeau? I shit you not. That take that and change it to a, change a couple fucking words, and it sounds like it's coming straight out of his mouth. Voters will give us another opportunity to serve them so that we can maintain our upward trend of development and take Bangladesh forward as a developing country. No, I'm gonna pause for a second. I'm gonna know I'm gonna call this right now. We're gonna see if, if Trudeau loses, like if the Liberals lose this next election, I see something like this happening. What? Oh, it's gonna be corruption scandal. Every it's gonna be nothing. Whoops! It's gonna be uh, ah. nothing is actually an honest thing. It, it, it is, is what I'm saying. It's nothing. It's gonna be uh, something happened. The Russians were involved. That's, that's what it's gonna come down to, and it's killing me inside. It, it really is. It's it's it, it's painful to listen to. So yeah, I'm too far away to do the fatalities. Yeah, it's their close range ones. Uh, it's just like mine. When I, when I go to do a bunch with, uh, like, uh, the, the, the Leatherface. <laughs> you go to do the Leatherface one. Fuck, I can't talk today. All right. So yeah, so I, I have a feeling that we're going to experience the same kind of a thing when Trudeau loses, when the liberal government loses. It's going to be some huge push for, like, a whole bunch of ridings who are corrupted and you know, hanging chads and shit like that. 
I don't know, you, do you remember the hanging chads of Florida? No. You sure seem you don't, you, you're different. Wow. That was a. The hanging chads incident was was a, a, a ballot recount nightmare. They used the machine that took a little pin, and you took this pin that was like a paper clip, and you had to push it into a hole, and it punched a hole in the card. Well, the hanging chads thing was this little tiny dimple didn't punch all the way through, so what ended up happening was some magical thing is that these chads that were left hanging would somehow fill the hole back in and that vote wouldn't count. It, it was weird. It was collusion. It was hacking. It was tampering. But it wasn't the Russians at that time. Both sides were hoping to avoid a repeat of 2014 when Zia and the Bangladesh Nationalist Party boycotted elections and voter turnout in the South Asian nation of 160 million was only 22%. More than half of the 300 parliamentary seats were uncontested. The Awami League's landslide victory was met with violence that left at least 22 people dead. Oh, great. What? Oh, it's not this guy. It's... Or you're fighting some syrup. On Sunday, some 104 million people in the Muslim-majority country were eligible to vote, including many young first-time voters. Walking with the cane, Hossein cast his vote near his home in Dhaka. Walking with a cane, oh, good for him. Is he? Are they making us feel good that the disabled people are voting? In India, yes, I guess that's a good How thing. How amazing. Saying he was receiving complaints about vote tampering and the day, no, Hossein's something else. Uh, but they just wanted to point out that he has a cane. Gotta make sure to get that in there. He was receiving complaints about vote tampering and intimidation from various parts of the country. A country with like five billion people? Why is this a shock? What? How is it a shock? It's not. That's Yay! No. Aw. You have to be close when you hit R2, and then you can't hit anything else. Hey, it's kind of messed up like that. Okay. Uh, more than 40,000 polling stations nationwide closed at 4 p.m. as the Islamic call to prayer came over loudspeakers. Of course. Yep, yep, you gotta face east no matter what. Dude. At a polling station in the ancient city of Panam Najar, <coughs> about 20 kilometers or 12 miles, so no play. Southeast of Dhaka. Goro, help us against Shinnok. I would never aid Earthrealm. Round one. Five. I would never aid Earthrealm. <laughs> the counting of the roughly 1,600 votes cast began immediately after. Die, after the photo. Wait. Oh, so 1,600. Okay, so this was a hand count, obviously. Plastic bins full of paper ballots were dumped onto a sheet on the oh floor, God. where ten people sat in a circle to organize and count the votes. One of the voters there, Haji Abdul Malik Mia, how'd you do that? You didn't smoke anything. No, that just happened. I apologize. Woo. That one just came up out of nowhere. Round two. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, oh, one of the voters, Haji Abdul Malik Mia, a 74-year-old father of five sons. Five sons? I have five sons! Five sons, five sons, five sons. Five sons. <laughs> Said he wanted to see someone in power who would offer development. Whoever is doing development, he said, should be there. About 600,000 security officials, including army and paramilitary forces, were deployed across the country in a bid to contain violence in Bangladesh's 11th general election. The country's telecommunications regulator shut down mobile internet services nationwide to prevent possible protests from organizing. Hmm. Wonder what other reasons they did that for. The normally traffic-clogged streets of the capital were largely empty because of a ban on vehicles for everyone except election observers and journalists. Many Dhaka residents had left days earlier to vote in their hometowns. Had left days earlier. At one polling station, Istiak Ahmed, 
A doctor at Dhaka said it was critical that people select the right government to maintain the development and enrich our country further. Another voter, Sultana Rajia Rotna, said she went out to cast her ballot after hearing that streets of Dhaka were peaceful. I think the country has already developed much, and it will be developed more, she said in Bengali. That's why I'm here, casting my vote. And also because you guys don't have a nasty Sharia law that says yeah. women aren't allowed to also, vote. Also, yeah, have you're women fighting voting rights. Yeah, you're allowed to vote. That's why you're here. <laughs> yeah. Don't lie. <laughs> Fuck off, you stupid. Oh, uh, base jumping's back in the news. Of course it is. You know what base jumping is, right? Yes, jumping off or jumping from cliffs without any. No, not just cliffs. These guys jump off of any freestanding structure, buildings, antennas, anything. They, if they could, they would go off the top of the CN Tower, which you guys have done it. Yeah, but apparently this is... somebody died. I'm shocked. I want to be put back into the air. The life and death of a base jumper. It's not that long. Oh god, this is kind of a depressing story. Never mind. Ah, uh, fuck. What? Was that a bed... Oh, fuck off. This apple, answer my question. Was that a bed bug? Let's see here. Shooting, shooting, rain tomorrow. Yeah. Lifetime British comedy star June Whitfield dies at 93. Don't know who that is. Uh, you British people, I'm sorry for your loss. She was probably a very nice actress. Uh, oh, here's here, this is this was actually kind of funny. I, I giggled when I heard this. Computer virus hits Tribune Publishing and the L.A. Times. They didn't update their software. Who didn't update their what? Huh? A computer virus hit newspaper printing plants in Los Angeles and at Tribune publishing newspapers across the country. Someone wasn't wa was watching porn. Bad boys. Tribune publishing said a computer virus disrupted production of the Chicago Tribune and its newspapers. The Tribune reported. No one? The print edition of the Chicago Tribune was published Saturday without paid death notices and classified ads, while in other markets a similarly slimmed down version of the Saturday newspaper will be delivered on Sunday. It's a f this is a fun game, but it's no Soul Calibur. Yeah. And the problem is, if we end to go put Soul Calibur in, we end the stream. Oh, I forgot to tell you about that little tidbit. Round two. <clears throat> uh. So it's the same. Bi what? The same biotech firmware guy owned both? Biotech billionaire Dr. Patrick Sun Xiong bought both the LA Times and the San Diego Union Tribune earlier this year for half a billion. It's interesting. That's probably just, that's probably just my. Yeah, it just gets you thinking. Let's see here. Let's go into nothingness. Okay, so that's it for CP24. Let's go to something good. <clears throat> we need headlines, people. We need headlines. Let's go to the search bar. I hate this thing. Has anybody ever gone to your Twitter search bar? Yes. Oh god. Okay. Uh, Mike Joel Pr Mike Beltran got a lot of love. Why? Because Mike Beltran is an awesome referee. Uh, don't 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 search Fine. vegans on Twitter. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's, <laughs> I kind of want to go over this thread because I'm trying to figure out how this started with you, Nico, and then suddenly Skeptoc gets dragged into this whole thing. Because Skeptoc replied saying about how eating meat protein you need to eat meat protein because it we required the two it requi it gives us two of the basic amino acids. You mean the key combination enzyme acids that are required that are happens when a cow eats something? Oh fuck. I hate vegans. If you're vegan and you're in my chat, kill yourself, thank you. <laughs> I mean that with all the love. But seriously, you're hurting yourself. Eat some meat. <coughs> if it makes you sick, well, try again. Okay. If you want to try and find the beginning of I the thread. I don't even want to try and find that thread. You just said you did. <laughs> you make up your fucking mind. Dude. Never. <laughs> I will never, ever make up my mind. Life is better this way. 
It's more Just hectic. stay off of Twitter. <laughs> Too late. It's more of an extreme visual fight. The pr what does what is the Premier League? Who cares? Oh, oh, okay. Hey, wage gap people. The Premier League's first so chief executive playing. has turned down the role. Fight. Why? Oh, it's soccer hooliganism thingy. So, Premier League hires to scout. Okay. So, she's stunning and brave because she turned down a job that a man will now take over and do expanding the wage gap further? Okay. Oh! Question! Has anybody watched this bird box thing? That's How the f What? Like, I mean, besides I rate Bear, like, I, we're gonna watch- I think I'm gonna watch that later. I gotta watch his video. Um... Cause all the screenshots I'm seeing is just some chick on a boat with her- with a blindfold on. So, if anyone's got any ideas, that would, uh, be kinda helpful there. Let's see here. Let's jump over to the chat and see what's happening. Go patriarchy! Oh wait, it's not a thing. No, no it's not! Not at all! It's because it's Looney Tunes, Terry. That's why they can get up for breaking all sorts of bones. I'm a meat again. <laughs> a beacon that also eats meat. <laughs> I'm, a I'm a level negative 50 vegan. <laughs> if it has a smile, it goes into my pot. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's do my split screen shit. Because why? Because I like to torment myself. Oh, why, oh, why does you two yep. hate me? Watch out. You are not yes, a master of shit, Yes, you apparently world. are. How do you do top fatalities? That's like Konami code level of shit there, Adam. Fight. Aha! There you go. Fight. Now I can read Jack. Public service announcements for those of you that post-holiday limbo existence, where every day feels like a Sunday. Today is actually Sunday. Oh, this hour has 22 minutes. What have you become? You know what was extra funny about this whole vegan thing? Yeah. You know what today is? Uh, Steak Sunday. National steak Bacon Day. Oh, I thought it was Steak and Blowjob Sunday. No. Uh, is that why I didn't have steak? Yeah. We had ground beef. That doesn't count. It's moo. That's ground moo, and it's dead. <laughs> it's not mooing. It's dead. Oh, I gotta. This is why I wish I could have a permanent recording going without being some creep. Uh. So, <laughs> basically, we were talking about because we, we figured out that with with Alex, it's uh, he likes ground beef, so we call it ground moo. Well, my uncle's a beef farmer. So we say, we're going to go look at the ground moo at the farm, and he goes, no, the ground moo is here, and it's dead. It's not mooing, it's dead. Yeah, it's National Bacon Day, Adam, and I'm all out of bacon. That was stupidly hard. <laughs> and now you got to go against Shinnok, the last final boss. Oh, is that the guy that turns into a demon? Uh, when one you of kill them. him? Lots of them do. <clears throat> Uh, hey, Ricky Burrick, I know you. Okay, I gotta find your thread. Soon be extinct. Ugh. We'll fight you to the end. <clears throat> yes, this is the demon that turns into it when you kill him the first time. He goes demon mode. Really? Hmm. I was watching a Sonya Blade arcade mode today. Yeah. And. This, and that's what happened when she. Ow! Fuck off! Uh, yeah, you're being possessed. And you just. I haven't figured out what that does. Uh, yeah, you just. Yeah, gotta... I'm done. Yeah, you're. Now you're up again. Oops. Um, what's here? Try to get through all your announcements. Didn't know that could have made a mistake with my local mosque. 
Yeah, but wouldn't Scotland Yard be after your ass in like five minutes there, Scotsman? You know, as soon as you as soon as as soon as they notice the barbecue, there would be lights. That's not hummus! It's not Hamas either. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's go to the top of this thread, because this is just fucking weird. So you uh, uh okay, so where did you get this woke oh, fail to load tweet? What? Her? Am I blocked? Why would I? Or they that? deleted the tweet? I'm guessing so. So the original tweet was, I don't get why I still have to explain to fifty different people a day that killing animals for food when we have other options is wrong. Okay. Scotland Yard maybe let okay, I, you really need to explain that. Okay, I need someone where, I need some where's Dankula? I need someone to explain this to me. Someone explain to me why. What? Why is it that Scotland Yard is in London and what do they call the police in Scotland? The 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 British bodies or what? I don't fucking know. Just got, shut okay. up and read. Okay. And if you put because we as animals Require animal protein for our brains to brain properly. Eat a steak, you clearly need it. And that incurred the wrath of several vegans. It's really only one. No, no, it was not. I got one, Jen Lin. I see someone hugging a cow. Jen. Oh, no, they're not hugging a cow. It's just a new. It's just as dead wrong. I muted a whole shitload uh, of vegans. Let's see what responses there are. This is hilarious considering a medical student, me, is reading this. Alexa, play thank you next. Is that person backing you up? No. I'm confused. I, I think that one person is actually praising you. There are people that have literally been vegan for decades and you come up with BS about we need animal protein. You are actually getting the protein from the animal's food. What? I so didn't see that one. Seen how key combination enzymes work. I didn't see that tweet. So like, you do realize that our brains brain properly only when we eat enough carbs, right? Preferably starchy carbs. Yeah, and wow, you look frumpy and fat as fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna eat carbs and look like you. She, her, mom, ethical vegan, and a feminist. Yeah, veganism isn't a mental disease, is it? Fuck's sake. She, her. Yeah, she, her, and, and a mommy. Have you noticed that all of these vegans have to have a V or the full word Why vegan? Why do they start talking about vegans and we drop five, five viewers? Interesting. <laughs> I told vegans to kill themselves. If we could only figure out where cows, pigs, sheep, and chickens got their protein from... Man, these people make top ten sources of veggie protein. There, you just answered your own fucking question and knocked your own fucking. Wins. <sighs> See, this is why I don't read this shit. Because the street in London is called Scotland Yard. The police in Scotland are just called police something. <laughs> Clean sources of plant based. It says clean resources of plant based protein. List a bunch of things that of that nature. Figured I should tell you, but it says That's it one of my subs. Oh, okay. Don't make fun of them. I'm not making fun of them. Oh, they're saying you got mad cow disease. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's funny. Oh, this shit's killing me. This is why I don't talk to vegans. Because they're fucking dumb. I'm a numpty and I have mad cow Do you know how hard it was for me not to just type a bunch of letters and just go bah! with like a drooling okay, face? Okay, watching blind girl spoilers, I'm sure, unless I read... What the hell? Are... What the fuck are you watching, Sin? Oh, Bird Box. <laughs> Uh, Sinatra, I thought you were watching the stream for a second there. Should be. <laughs> Bastard. 
<laughs> we could share our day. <laughs> no, I got it. I got Twitter stomped by vegans. He got Twitter stomped by rape culturists. Yeah, well, fucking rape culture's a myth. We all know it. Stop dressing like horrors and you won't fucking have assholes trying to get you. Head smash on like, Jesus Christ, and not just like play by play in this whole movie. <laughs> I'm scared to watch this thing now. Oh Yeah, they did. Scott's been I uh, just went through it. They all started tweeting her graphs and weird fucking pictures and shit. Fine, and... try and find the tweet where I said I did. Where you said what? Where I said, um, why are you giving me pictures? Yeah, and then, so, then, yeah, nobody else said anything after that. Oh, they deleted it? That's yeah. why I screenshotted. I actually screenshotted that one. They said, because I said, why, why are you giving me pictures? Read the username. Right? Yeah. And they go, oh, I thought that was just a commentary on your choice to remain blind to the truth. My apologies. <laughs> oh, I should just t tweet about ableist. <laughs> oh, you, where are you at? Cor oh, yeah, you're on corrupted Shinnok. Yeah, that's right. He does turn into a demon because he's a demon. You're a fucking demon, man. You know. <laughs> what? I would love for there to be a, a horror movie what? where a demon just randomly just goes, I'm a fucking ah. demon. Ah. What? Uh, just, just head up close and personal face shot of Kathy Griffin. My penis just ran inside of me and touched my butthole. <sighs> That's how fast it ran away. Oh, good. I've been... I've been... What? I said, oh, good. I've been... Swarmed by the children all day. That's awesome. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> huh? Why is it Kathy Griffin's fault? What, what happened? It was a joke. I was sick. Ugh. Husband and wife humor. Come on, Husband get with it. There's humor? Wait, there's humor in marriage? Apparently, it's not even called Blind Girl, it's called Bird Box. Fuck me. <laughs> Blind, blind girl's one of your Twitter followers there, Sinatra. Yeah, literally. <laughs> you fucking numpty. Final round. Okay, I will beat fucking Shinnok. That's funny. Uh. That's too funny. Ugh, okay. Ugh. <sighs> I've been kind of messed up. I AP being in the hospital and shit's kind of screwed with me a little bit. We definitely need to get a man on the inside. Uh oh. Sargon's working on something weird. Gay ops are in the mix with Sargon. Okay. Uh. Need news. Let's see what Gunfox sent me. Cop nearly crashes an oncoming train after crossing gates failed. Michael Reagan, son of President Reagan, has urgent warning for Trump followers. Oh, we already read that one. We read on the last one. Holy shit, what did I do? I wind. I wind, I wind. Well, let's see what's happening. Uh, he blew up. He's an ice demon, okay. Exhausted by her ordeals, Sonia slipped into a deep sleep and began to dream. Oh, here we go. Kano held Jax and Cassie hostage. He made Sonia choose who would live and who would die. Seeing no way to free them both, she chose Cassie, 
and screamed as Kano killed Jax before her eyes. Still screaming, she was awoken by Johnny. He had horrific news. Jax was dead by an assassin's bullet. Well, that just sucks. So that's just convenient plot fucking bullshit. And then he comes back as a zombie on the side of uh, uh, of uh, Shinnok. Oh, of course. That's how the story goes. You see it right in the beginning of the story. So it's not a spoiler. All right. What time is it? 11.20. 20. Okay, so one more story, then we'll call it for the night. Blind juror in Toronto impaired driving case was almost rejected. Really? I shall read. Yes, the... A recent criminal trial at Toronto's downtown Superior Court featured what may be a first in Ontario, a blind juror. The fact that is, if not a first, an extremely rare occurrence in Ontario underscores that much more needs to be done to remove the barriers to equal treatment in the criminal justice system, disability advocates say. <laughs> Certainly, this applies to ensuring adequate representation of persons with disabilities on juries, says Luke Reed, a lawyer with Arch Disability Law Center in Toronto. The criminal law code allows people with vision or hearing disabilities to serve on juries. However, an accused may challenge a juror's service and the Juries Act deems jurors ineligible if they have a physical or mental disability that would seriously impair his or her ability to discharge the duties of a juror. Yeah, fuck you, a blind person is not... Fuck off! However, human rights law would demand that this or any requirement not be interpreted in an overboard way, overbroad way, and that persons with disabilities have the right to the necessary accommodations. Hmm. Juror 29743 almost didn't get picked. Well, there are likely numerous, and I bet you he went, damn it, <laughs> like all of us do. <laughs> well, there are likely numerous reasons preventing people with impaired vision from sitting on juries. There is still a very active debate around the ability of trier of fact to see a witness's demeanor in order to assess credibility. Fuck off! Seriously? Holy shit! Yeah, because blind people can't tell the demeanor of somebody oh, by listening to them speak. Fuck off! Fuck that is harsh! I think courts tend to err on the side of caution where the right of an accused to a fair trial is potentially at issue. But justice is blind, says Chadwick. Fuck off with this shit! This fall... This fall on Fox. Sorry, had to. Send this to me, will you? I already did. Okay, I'm a, reading it tomorrow anyway. I don't care. All right. A day, but well, there's only eight people here, so <laughs> a day before jury selection in an impaired driving causing death trial, drunk driving. Can you please call it drunk fucking driving? Thank you. Fuck. Oh yeah, there's real quick tangent. Isn't it called? It's called Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and it's presented by a man. But. In Canada, they've changed all drunk driving to impaired charges, so it shouldn't be mad to do. It should be made. Mothers against impaired driving. Mm -hmm. Made. Ooh. Okay. This fall, a day before jury selection in an impaired driving causing death trial, prosecutor Marnie Goldenberg <laughs> ding, ding, told the judge she and defense lawyer Caroline Kerr had some concerns about a prospective juror who had shown up at the courthouse with a service dog. Those treacherous service dogs. Goddamn service <laughs> it dogs. It had a shady look in its eye. They're also not vegan. <laughs> Goldenberg told the judge numerous photos would be introduced during the two-week trial. Ontario Superior Court Justice Rob Goldstein told the lawyers while it was entirely appropriate to raise the issue, he didn't intend to treat juror 29743 any differently than other jurors. Good! I think it's something we canvas and retreat here the way we treat our, any other juror. Issue, Goldstein said. The next day after juror 29743 entered the courtroom with her service dog, the judge asked her how she would, quote, deal with all the photos in the case. How do you... Okay, first of all, just a little tip. Your, com your controller turned off and now you're all si silent and shit. 
Um, just a little tidbit of information for for us, for 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 those of you who wish to. Um, anyone who wants to learn how to ask a blind person a question on how you can help them. Don't fucking go. How are you gonna deal with this problem that we that that we've presented you with? You go. Hey, how can I help you? Uh, um, access this. Like, how can we help you access these photos in the case? That's how you ask that question. Can I continue? Yes. It would be through description. I cannot see them. The woman who works in human resources. Both cold see. Okay. All right. So if they are described, you can absorb what's in them? The judge asked. She said yes. The jury selection process continued in the normal course with two already selected jurors designated as triers, deciding whether or not she was an acceptable pick. This is kind of a fucked up thing to... Wow. Juror 29743 said she had not heard about the case involving a man charged with impaired driving causing death on April 23, 2016, near Jane Street and Humberview Boulevard. She also indicated she could consider the evidence without prejudice or bias after being told the accused was a visible minority and Muslim. Anybody catch that? Okay, I don't give a fuck what, re what fucking religion he How is. How is this even a fucking case? <laughs> Nevertheless, the triers immediately rejected her. Goldstein, however, wasn't satisfied. He told the triers he was going to reread their instructions and ask them to consult each other again. The test to decide is if a juror would approach jury duty with an open mind and decide the case based solely on the evidence and his legal instructions, the judge told them. This time, the triers found jury 29743 acceptable. You know what I would do well, if passel, I was her? Well, while counsel on both sides said they were, quote, content with the choice. After a few days of deliberations, the jury returned to court with a guilty verdict. The star's attempts to speak to jury 29743 were unsuccessful, probably because she doesn't want to be your fucking patsy, or your token, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. You may I, talk so I possibly see a lawsuit in this, says Chadwick. First of all, you know what I would have done if I was that jury? Gone off. I, uh, juror, I would have gone, Your Honor, I recuse myself. You might want to turn down your play. I would have said, Your Honor, I recuse myself. And they would have said, Why? We just said that you could be a juror. And I would have said, Yeah, because... Hey, you unlocked Baraka. Oh, cool. But I, I would be like, y you know what? No, you you people doubt whether I could be a juror because I can't see, and you guys are willing to let me be, like, really? I don't need your fucking charity. I recuse myself. Good luck finding another juror. Yeah, that's just kind of... So, that's what uh, I would have lawyer done. Lawyer David Lepofsky, a retired crown attorney who is blind and was not involved in the case, said having a blind juror not only makes the legal system more representative as of society, it makes lawyers more effective. It, yeah. There's a lot of stuff that goes into the courtroom that is visual and needs to be explained for the transcript or audio recording, so having a blind juror will help ensure that happens. So you get a better recording, and it's better for everybody. I'm, I'm adding the inflection because yeah. I got a feeling that's how he wants it to sound. Because that's how I would sound. But there are some expectations where a visually impaired juror might have to be excluded, he added. If, for example, the guilt or innocence of an accused is entirely based on whether a jury believes an accused looks like an assailant captured in a surveillance video. Okay, so you can't use direct eyewitness. Okay, fine. So what? There are shit tons of other things. Lepofsky, now a visiting professor at York University's Osgood. Hall Law School said traditionally appeals court, appeal court said trial judges were in superior positions to assess the credibility of witnesses because they, unlike appeal judges, can access can assess act says can access demeanor, but I believe it's supposed to say assess, assess demeanor. Yeah. That view has evolved, and now appeals courts are increasingly warning it's wrong to overemphasize visual demeanor when assessing credibility. He uses himself as an example to explain how everyone has different ways of doing that. Is this guy Daredevil? Blind lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> Sighted people use eyes. I listen to a voice, and the whole idea of, of a jury is it's a bunch of different people 
pooling their different ways of assessing credibility than voting as a group. Well, who's to say? Visually, can you hit circle? Is the only way to do it. Those of us who experience the world non-visually have our own experience too. While jurors don't have to be statistically representative, statistically representative of society, there is an expectation that they bring to the courtroom their own life experience drawn from different parts of the community, and they pool to form a collective assessment, a very difficult assessment, who to believe about what happened. And that's the end of that article. And I hope you enjoyed your cancer for this evening. Yes. <laughs> and what, 1131, should we call it? Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, guys, um, thanks a lot for coming out and watching us play a new game. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, just a quick announcement, um, in case you haven't checked my Twitter or don't have Twitter. Um, we're going to be switching back to the Blind Press channel, um, just because I don't have enough time to really make enough content to sustain a gaming channel. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and organize all of the streams into playlists, like a Star Trek playlist, a coffee stream playlist, um, and a Blind and Special playlist. And... Um, any like random gaming streams that I happen to find time to do, I will make a, a gaming list and we'll keep the blind and the special as like an archive slash backup channel in case something happens to the blind press channel, which uh, I'm not planning on it happening, but you know, talk shit about more vegans and stuff that might fucking happen. Uh, yeah, to I, it. I tend to piss people off, so yeah, pick a it, fight with a vegan again, watch what'll fucking um, happen. I guarantee it. So let so that's just our uh, quick announcement. So um, be sure to to uh, tune in to the main channel next week for Blind and the Special. Also, uh, come tomorrow morning for the coffee stream. Um, Skep and I will be talking probably a bit more about my my escapade today, and we're going to be rereading that article because that I have some. More. She has to think about that for for the yeah. night. <laughs> um, but thank you very much for coming out and, and listening to us uh, rant and rave and yell at each other and beat each other up and all that funness. Have a great night, guys. We'll see you later. Bye! Uh, where's the button to turn the stupid thing off? <laughs> Another play user... Oh, you have to do it. Oh. <laughs> I can't do it for my controller. So you much for you having the control. Well, I don't have control. I am ill controlling. And everybody, we love you all, and you guys have a great night!